is kind of a cool New York mug somebody set over here. Probably to look it up. We've got a little, she's got spaghetti ruffle. I don't know who that mark is. It's interesting. She also does not have a price. She has jewel eyes too. Oh, she's broken. Never mind. I was just about ready to put her in the cart and figure out who she was. That had the look of an Isabel Bloom, but I didn't I didn't think Isabel Bloom made uh, people. She's known for animals, especially birds. So it's not. It's a copycat. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at that. Don't be broken, don't be broken, don't be broken. I'm not at Goodwill. I am actually at the Savers that I used to come to on an extremely regular basis when I first moved to Las Vegas. It is a store where I used to spend hundreds of dollars and then as their prices went up and up and up, I stopped shopping. But I am here to discover if they have found the error of their ways and are pricing more reasonably like the other Saver stores I have gone into seem to be doing. It'll be, a, it'll be a good test because I do like this store. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can find some good stuff. And it's senior day, so I do get 30% off. Uh, I've remembered to bring my own bags uh, and uh, we gotta do the little self checkout thing. So let's get in there and see what we can find. Let's get shop done. All right, here is Lucky Carts. This All right, straight away I see these pretty guys. $9.99 with 30% off. That's a good deal. I'm going to grab both of those guys. Now I can look a little closer now that I've grabbed them into the cart. There is a sticker underneath there, underneath the tag, but they are they're a nice heavy weight and they're metal and they're vintage and they're super cool. So yeah, score. See what else they've put up here. Ooh, now this gets called Murano glass a lot when it gets listed, but it's actually a Home Essentials from like Home Goods, and they sold it for fifteen dollars. But you know what? These sell really, really well on eBay because uh, they're so whimsical. They're very Dr. Seuss, Seuss ish, and uh, I'm gonna grab that for ten ninety nine minus thirty percent. And I spotted these little elephants here, made in China. They are a little chippy, that's why I'm kind of debating on them. I think I'm going to leave them because they're really, really kind of chipped up. If they weren't so chipped up, I would have gotten them. It is a little Chinese food jar that says, good luck, WCL China. It also is chippy. So I am not going to get that. But it was cute. Oh, but I am going to get this guy as long as he is not chipped. He's also $10.99, but that 30% off makes him very doable. The prices are a little higher than I'd like them to be, but there's still plenty of profit to be had, and that's the name of the game. Volks Wander Tag 1990 Reichweiler little stein mug kind of a guy not not really my thing okay we're uh just getting in the door and already finding some treasure so that is promising i know rachel really loves these but she's also running out of room so don't tell her i'm leaving that one i am gonna grab this really interesting little no i'm not no i'm not he's broken i was gonna say i'm gonna grab him he's very interesting but he's, he's broken. But unless you are, nope, you're a Pegasus. Oh, you're a Pegasus with a broken wing too. Darn it. Oh, and you're still $10. Okay, maybe this store hasn't totally learned the error of their ways yet. Let's see who you are. Little unicorn head for $3.99. Look at, this is a lamp. It's just missing its little bulb that goes in there. It's got a vintage feel to it. 
for $3.99. Now that I can do. See, we got a bunch of bathing, no, I, bathing babies. I didn't get the word out. But what I wanted to share with you is when I talk about good resin and bad resin, this is bad resin. This is poor quality. It's, it's just lightweight and just, it's just not good. Um, it's very lightweight. It's got no substance to it. The details are really not there. This is a Gans. Yes, she is a Bella Casa. This is Millie, a Susan Paley. She is $7.99, and I wouldn't pay $7.99 for her, but I can certainly pay, let's see, that'll be $5.60. I can do that. Do you see him? Do you see what I see? Ugh, he's got a broken nose. Probably had a little black spot or a white spot on his nose, but this is an Artisania Rinconata. It is a Collie. But sadly, at $7.99, we would need him to be pretty perfect, and he's not, so we do have to leave that one, which pains me a little bit. Cute little kitties. All right, look at this frog. Unfortunately, he's also missing an eyeball, or maybe he's meant to, because he is a skeleton frog. But he's, again, he's just resin. So we'll leave him. This guy, on the other hand, is uh, super adorable. And again, it's resin, but it's, look at how detailed, look at the faces. They're just, they're kind of calling to me. And they are $4.99, which would be $3.50. We can do that. This is a vintage kittens, but not very good quality, not very high quality. Oh look, it's another horsey. Is this one broken? This one's not a Pegasus. This one's just a horse. Wait a minute. Is that a chip or just... Ah, oh, his ear. His ear is broken. Darn it. Again, I would have picked him up if his ear was not broken. Uh-oh. Look what I spot. It's a little turtle trinket, but it's really broken. For $3.99 though, I'm gonna rescue him and I'm gonna have Rachel make me something to go on there. This is kind of a cool New York mug. Somebody set over here, probably to look it up. We've got a little, she's got spaghetti ruffle. I don't know who that mark is, it's interesting. She also does not have a price. She has jewel eyes too. Oh, she's broken. Never mind. I was just about ready to put her in the cart and figure out who she was. That had the look of an Isabel Bloom, but I didn't I didn't think Isabel Bloom made uh, people. She's known for animals, especially birds. So it's not. It's a copycat. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at that. Don't be broken. Don't be broken. Don't be broken. I don't think you are. I think you're in good shape and you're coming home with me. I see. These are interesting. You're actually quite interesting. No name though. Do you have a name? I think these are nativity figures. But they're not. They just mark Italy. They might be Fontanini, but they're not really the characters that sell well. But I was going for the brass deer. It's a solid brass deer. And again, it would only be about five bucks. So I think I'm going to pick up the brass deer. All right, we are in the candle section. Let's see if there's anything exciting in their candle section. Like a glassy baby. That would be fun. Still haven't found one in the wild. I'm determined though with the little snails, little terracotta snails. I think these are party light. I think the set came with a snail, a turtle, and some other kind of like a bug, but that's just three snails. And they are a little overpriced. So we will leave those and take a peek at the ironwood um, 
sail. Oh, he's really broken. I was trying to sail, sail, no, sailfish or marlin. How do you tell the difference? I don't know. I'm puzzled, but he's super duper broken. Usually on these, the um, point of their little beak is broken. That's pretty normal. But he's, he's super duper broken. He's more than just the normal broken. All right, nothing else here. This is kind of a nice looking vase. It's a West Elm, sold for $36. Nice quality, but not something we're gonna pick up at that price. I may have picked that up had it been under 10 bucks, because then I would have gotten, you know, a bigger discount after that. This is 1969 Mum Show Artistic Blue Ribbon. That's cute. Little teapot. Ooh, it's a Demott sculpture. These are mid-century. It's $9.99, which makes it $7 for me. I'm gonna grab that. I I spotted this hand. There's <sighs> phrenology. Is that what these are? Is it a phrenology <laughs> hand? This one has been broken and glued back together, it would seem. Let's see what this little jar, oh, that's a hobbyist piece. Oh, I don't see anything else there. Kind of like the, uh, oh, it's like a wind chime kind of a thing. That's kind of cool. We're gonna leave her though. Let's see who makes this one. What does that say? Uh, first, I gotta figure out which is the right side. I don't know. I can't make that out. I know it's not treasure craft, so we're gonna leave it. Okay, let's see. I see a ship. Let's see what you are. You would have been on something that held you upright. Kind of cool, but not complete. Not complete. Garden salad ambiance collection. Ooh, I see a chicken. Kind of a chicken basket. Seven ninety nine. Hmm. He's pretty contemporary. He's not great for seven ninety nine. Oh my goodness! It's a headless. It's a headless Murano clown decanter. That's a shame. $13.99. Wonder how much they would have priced him with the head. Ooh, interesting. Newer though. Newer. When, when I'm discussing newer in an Asian porcelain or pottery piece, newer is anything before like 1920 or 30 that's considered newer versus it's not newer if you're talking about American made collectibles and, and antiques. So it's interesting because that culture goes much, much farther back. Therefore, the older the item there, the much better it is. I see horses. Oh, look how cute they are. It's $6.99 for the pair. Hmm. I think we can find room for those on her shelves. Let's see, again, I love the way they lay out their art at Savers. Really easy to see everything, but I'm not seeing anything really pulling me in this section. So we are going to move on to the vases and the planters and the fake plants and not too much here either today hmm nope I don't think we're gonna end up with anything from this section today let's give a peek to the end caps here Nope, nope, nothing here that I need. And let's see, this is kind of cute with the little cherries. Ellen's from California. 
trying to figure out what why it has these holes here on the side if it maybe had some kind of a handle or something I don't know all right nothing else there all right lots of baskets baskety baskets and then their holiday stuff Christmas not very much of that though look at this hobbyist piece kind of interesting oh look at the little sad penguin he's very sad I guess he's gonna be sadder because I am NOT taking him home I will leave him for somebody else and we got another end cap that's empty see if there's anything cool on here I don't see anything all right this is their wood section Let's see if there's anything interesting in here like a wood totem pole is that missing it no it's not hmm it's kind of interesting but it's very lightweight and feels kind of cheap in the hands so I am gonna leave that one. Oh. Give me an A, Y, A, F. Cool letters. Cool bunny. Irish corned beef and cabbage. Very warped. And fresh bacon. That's kind of cute. Hmm. Don't see anything that we need to put in the cart on this row, though. Now, there is the metal section. Let's see if there's anything here that tickles our fancy. So far, I am not seeing anything. Hmm. I guess that first row is our row. Although, I see a parrot, but I'm not exactly sure what this part is for. It doesn't quite line up to hold. I mean, I could see glasses there, but what's the rest of it for? What would you do with that? Hmm. It's kind of a mystery. I don't know. I don't know. I have a very uncooperative cart that keeps wanting to veer, so it's very hard to steer one-handed. So if I'm a little jerky in my filming, I apologize. Paula Dean, because I have to keep fighting <laughs> with my cart to keep it out of people's way, because they, right, like, see, like, right now, it just wants to go that way. So maybe if I pull it, maybe that's what I'll do. So I will just pull my cart as I look through the kitchen stuff. Look at all the baggies on the wall. Lots of cool kitcheny stuff over here. See some salt and pepper shakers. Hmm. It's kind of an old ice cream scoop, but I don't think it's one of the valuable old ice cream scoops. containers and such chopsticks mm. tumblers some bathroom stuff nope I don't think there's anything exciting in this grouping we'll come over to this other side you can see the wall just goes on and on and on with baggies looks like there might be some more collectible stuff over here maybe some coasters sets of coasters no 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 nothing exciting what are you like a little embossed piece of art yeah, it's amazing what you can find in a baggie here at Savers. Although today is not the day that I'm finding anything exciting. Those little doggies. 
Little doggies might be exciting. But they are not high quality. So we will leave those since they're priced at $5.99 for the bag. Anything else? I see. A copper, a copper cactus. Oh, it's a plastic. It is not metal. All right, I don't see anything else here in the baggies either. The baggies have let us down today. Okay, let's see what we got here. That looks like an older piece of pressed glass but it would have had a lid you can see the little ridge in there where a lid would have sat and you really need that to give it some value mm -hmm. your house full it's an interesting piece but the staining on it is all coming off. Alright, I don't see anything exciting. Half of a butter dish. If the other half had been there, that might have been a good buy. Give me an A! Give me a B! Those are really cute, actually. Decanters and canisters galore. I do like these aqua colored jars. Wire side made for canning. They are ball. You'd have to replace the little rubber seals. That one's $3.49, $4.99, $5.99. How much is this one? And this one is $3.99 also. I think I'm gonna grab those. Oh, I bought one of these over at a Goodwill store. $4.99. We don't need another one. Let's see this cake saver. It makes you. No, it's not it's not Tupperware. Thought it might be. It had the right color. see anything else. All right, we've got dishes, dishes, dishes galore. And somehow I ended up back pushing my cart again, which you think I would learn. That just doesn't work very, very well. Hey, Noah, look. It's red garlic mashed potatoes. Noah already makes some pretty killer mashed potatoes, I gotta say. Let's see what these are back here. Those are interesting. Almost look like hobbyist pieces. We are gonna leave those. Let's see what else is here. Nothing too exciting. Oh, what are you? No name on these. Darn it. They look like there's something, but I'm gonna leave those. All right, what is that? Cute mug. Oh, chipped. Nice big mug there. Design pack. Oh, hello kitty. $4.49 though. This is only like a $12 to $15 mug at the most. Mm, I'm going to leave it. I know some of you are going to be mad at me for leaving that. Cats have two lives. Theirs and yours. Yeah, all right, I don't fur mama. Yeah, I just, I don't like the condition of their mugs and the price for the condition. Because if I have to do a lot of cleaning, then that reduces my profit margin. I'll pick up a 10 to $12 mug if I don't have to do anything to it. Once I have to start doing stuff, then I have to pay less. Okay, that's, I thought those were all separate little things on this candle holder, but I do like it. Teleflora gift. That's cute. All right, let's 
let's see. I bought so many glasses at the last store that I went to that I'm going to be a little more careful at this store because I have a lot to deal with now. But I got some really super good ones. So if you haven't seen that video, go see what I loaded the cart with. It was almost all glassware. And I don't see anything that is as good as that was at this store. All right, we've got more stuff here. What is this? Made in Japan. There's a set of three and they are, um, they're not ceramic. I'm trying to figure out what they're made of. They're a, they're like a plastic. They're pretty cool. Let's see if they have them priced as a set or individual. Ooh, they're priced as a set for $7.99. So you know, if this one's in good shape too, I, yeah, I like these. I like these a lot. I'm gonna pick those up. Okay, let's see what else might be in our little kitchen section. Oh my gosh, look at this towel, paper towel holder with the little siesta sleeping guys. There's one on the top and then there's three on the bottom. Ooh, something's loose, wait. Ooh, that one's loose. Okay, I see how that is. Let's see, you don't have a name on you. What is your price? Cause you are pretty cute, $7.99. And I don't know, there is a color that's 50% off today too. Oh, never mind. big chip alert. Well, that was a bummer. Ooh, there's one of the scales I like, but I, I want one that has a flat top up here. Although that would work, that one would work for what I'm looking for but I am not gonna get it today. Okay, nothing else here. We are looking through the bathroom stuff. What in the world is this? Some kind of a, oh, Kimberly Sweet Peach Perfume. Okay, I just saw the peach. I wasn't quite sure what that was about. I don't see anything here. Anything in the baggies? What are you? Little Halloween something. Not sure what. Oops. Get back up there. All right, taking a peek through the blankets. Nothing is calling my name in the blankets today. Look at how many pillowcases they have. Oh my goodness. And I'm kind of right now zeroing in on these. They are bunnies painting eggs. Those are pretty stinking adorable. Let's see how much you are. You are here somewhere. They're, they're pillow covers. Oh, here, let's see who makes you. You are 20 by 20, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't say on that side. Um, I still can't read that. Mick two, Mick two. Hmm. Price please. Price please, savers. What have you priced these little buggers at? Okay, we're gonna have to figure that out because I like these. Four ninety nine for the pair. We'll grab those. All right, we are looking through the pillows, seeing if anything is grabbing me up here. Mm, I don't think we're going to find anything today in the pillows. I didn't even realize there's pillows here and there's pillows here to look through. So, we may not be out of finding pillows yet, but nothing, nothing's grabbing me, unless you like some kind of avocado green pillows. Rodeo home? Hmm. Nope, all right, nothing in the pillows. I can officially say it now. They put big art up, up, up on the top ledge back here by the men's section. And a lot of people miss it. 
I'm looking at these beautiful unicorn prints. They are signed and numbered uh, 1981, but they're big. So I am going to pass on those. I don't have room to deal with any big art right now. So somebody's probably going to get a really good deal on those. We're going to take a quick peek through the plush. They hang all their plush up so it's pretty easy to see what's there. See a giraffe, that's kind of cool. Let's find your tushy tag, honey, and see who you are. You are Mag... Magnuson Home. I do not know that brand. Hmm. It's kind of cool. But I don't know that brand. I usually try to stick with things that I know, like Ziggy's cool, but Ziggy, the last few Ziggy's I've bought have not been worth very much. But then there's this guy. He's a Disney. Actually, is he a Pixar or is he a Disney? From um, Secret Secret Life of Pets. $5.99 though. Goodness, and no tushy tag. Gosh, the no tushy tag really hurts for collectability. So I think I'm going to put him back. But I am kind of digging this hammerhead shark from SeaWorld because I know anything from a theme park was at least a $20 bill. At least. This guy needs a little cleanup, but I think he's super cool at $3.99. We're going to grab him. Well, I think that's going to do it for this shopping trip. I'm off to go pick up my kiddos and uh, go enjoy the evening at home. So, check out time and then off to get the kids. That's the thing about savers. They source their donations from all different nonprofits. And so they get some really quality goods into savers. So, yeah, some of their prices are still a little high, but it's doable now that they have a 30% off day on Tuesdays and a 25% off day on Thursdays. Although more people shop the the um the club member day than I think the senior day. So I probably won't do too many Thursdays, but it's good to have discount days. Also, if you donate, if you bring a bag of something, you get a 20% off coupon. So there are ways to get those prices down. And I remembered this time to bring my resale certificate. So if you sign up with your state as a business, and you're buying things for resale, you do not have to pay sales tax on those items. Uh, you just have to bring the certificate with you and then they have to punch in some numbers. So that was cool too. Saved another, I don't even know, what is our rate here? Like 
eight, eight point something percent, you know, every little bit helps. Uh, so now I am off to go pick up my favorite kids in the whole wide world. And also I've got to wish Jordan a happy birthday, but we have a tradition. I don't do it until 9.01 p.m. because that's when she was born. So that's our tradition. So I've been like just holding my tongue all day, watching the clock, waiting. Now I am filming this on uh, Tuesday, the 29th. So that, that was her birthday. You're not seeing this on Tuesday, the 29th, because there is editing that has to take place. But uh, she turned, uh, dare I say it, yeah, she's been public about it. She turned 30 years old. And so uh, it's a very pivotal birthday for her this time. So if you could wish her a happy birthday down in the comments, I am going to make sure she reads them. Now, I am on my way. So you go be profitable and make it fun. Bougie, do you want to come out? Got to come down here? Step up. Want to step up? Want to step up? Come on. Don't be camera shy. Bougie, bougie. Right here. All right, I'll open it. Do you want to come out? You step up, but you got to come out. Come on. Come on. Hi. Hi, bougie. Hi, bougie bird. Want to step up? Step up. Step up. Do you want to play with the bird in the mirror while I clean your cage? You want to do that? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you a happy bird? Are you a happy bird? Yes? I need another hand to feed you a treat, but I'm holding you. Would you like to go here? Here. Go visit. Go visit the bird in the mirror. There you go. Go visit your bird in the mirror. Oh, there he is. Oh, get that bird. Who is that? Who is that in the mirror? Who is that crazy bird? <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> Do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Do you want this? You gotta talk to me. You got you got to wait, what is that? Do you want this? Do you want this? You gotta say yeah. No, you gotta say yeah. Say yeah. Do you want this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got them all over the floor. I know. I, I see them. I see them too. Now you dropped that one. Let's go. The seeds fell out. You want more? <laughs> oh, you just dropped them again. Oh my goodness, Bougie. You dumped them all out on the floor. This is not good. I know, is there a couple left in there? No, see, now you're just making them out. Now you want me to hand feed them to you, don't you? <coughs> Bought these? Yeah. I don't know how you eat straight up chili peppers, but I know it's your favorite. Are we ready to start the day? Is it going to be a good day? Yeah? Yeah. Are you a good boy? 
Are you a good boy? Good boy. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.